Hey, down here. Okay. Um, my uh, NetPro Max Fedora 29 server on the NetPro Max machine is lost its network connection, so my website's now online. Uh, rebooted. Didn't help at all. I don't have an inter Ethernet connection. I looked through some logs. And uh, I didn't see anything. I'm looking at my cables. I looked. I looked through some logs, and I didn't see anything that uh, told me anything. You know. Uh, let's see. That's a Cat Five cable. I was. I've been meaning to. I figured I got to looking at things the other day and I realized that this, this thing has an onboard gigabit NIC and I'd really like to take advantage of that and so I don't remember what cable I had and I did some speed tests and I was only getting 30 the best I was getting was 35 megabits so I thought uh oh maybe I've got a I was hoping I guess that I might have a bad cable on there and I could just swap it out I cannot see the writing on this one good enough I don't I looked at them all before when I set recently well, a few months ago now I guess I uh, uh, looked at them and and I, I I believe I have all the I had I think I had one cat six and two or three cat five e's I think I already have them in use and uh, but I was thinking well maybe maybe one of these is a cat five e or something I mean, that would be good, you know. Like I said, I think I did. I think my D-Link router came with a Cat6, and that's the only Cat6 cable I have. Other than a bunch of actual real Cat6 cable with like 48 pairs or something like that in it. Uh, I have a bunch of scrap cable. They're all uh, well, 30 to 45 feet long. Uh, Cat6 cable. Uh, scraps from when I had a job installing in Telco back in 2000 and I've only I got one of them in here and I tried running audio and video on it and it didn't it was just didn't work good at all it's not for that it's for digital it's not shielded in the right way and wrapped in the right way back then I kind of knew a little bit now I've read more and more over the years and it actually has everything to do with the way the wires are wrapped and they're twisted pairs is what they are, but, and that's what, uh, well, it depends. I don't pretend to be an authority on it. I know just enough to be dangerous, but, <laughs> but, uh, lots of writing on here and very hard to read on this dark blue cable. And, 24AWG and USA How about that USA cable they're pretty old some of them don't just say cat anything on them they have uh, some other coded messages that tell you what they are and this may be one of them one of, I know one of them, I figured it out after staring at it long enough, reading all the numbers on it. But, uh, as soon as I start going further and further on the writing, then I get, you know, it gets twisted. It's been rolled up enough time that the writing goes around and around it. Anyway, uh, just think I'm wasting time. And I bought me some. Uh, I got three or four gigabit Ethernet cards, but they're all PCI. Let's see. I think they have PCIe, and I think they have to be at least. It's just PCIe one, I think, one X or something like that. But that old machine doesn't have that kind of slot in it. It's only got standard PCIs. And there's one that's easy to read. It's a Cat5. 
That blue one could possibly be. It really doesn't. At this point, I just want need something that works, you know, at this minute. But I thought I would look at my cables while I was. While I was having to do this. And, uh. I haven't been feeling good. I haven't been working on anything, making videos. But this made me have to get up and try to do something. Okay, first thing I'm going to do before I do any more fiddling like that. Should have done it first. Oh, I was going to trace it. I'm going to trace down the cable. I was going to, I thought, well, why don't I re, I rebooted the router and the, uh, the, uh, D-Link. I'm almost certain it's plugged straight into the D-Link. I don't think it's plugged into my switch over here. I was thinking about rebooting the switch, which is no problem doing that. It's just that I don't... I want to do what I think will help first. But yeah, I rebooted it earlier, but I did do it with the software, so I'm going to do it with the... With the I'm going to do a hard reboot. Put the power down and power back on. On the uh, D-Link router. And I've got my... Uh, let me get my TP link out of the way. I'm, I'm going to trace down the wires. I don't... Yeah, it's not even turned on. So I just need to try to set it out of the way. I don't think I can. Um, I think it has a Cat5e on it, going to it, because I wanted to have a, you know, full... Uh, I'm going to have set it up there, I guess. That's about all I can do. It's about powered back up the uh, router it's not turned on because I don't have anything I have a link coming from the, basically an uplink coming from the uh, D-link to it or actually I guess it, it might be coming from the uh, trim link to it. No, I don't, no I think it's coming from the switch to it that's what it is because then I, I wanted to have see my switch is gigabit too so I wanted to make sure I'm looking at everything while I'm trying to figure things out. What kind of cable? Got a, okay, U, bad USB cable. I wondered where that was and couldn't find it. Stuck it in a coffee can with some other stuff. Okay, so let's... Uh, well, let's see if we're back online before we do anything else. But I was wanting to try a different cable and see. I mean, if you can't even get a, a you know, like 95 megabits out of a standard, you know, you got a gigabit, um, and you know you got a gigabit. So That didn't give us a connection. It's not there. So that didn't do a thing. Sometimes you have to, it says enable, you know, click on it, that'll dislabel it, and then re enable it, and it'll try to connect. But it's not, immediately it should be trying to connect, and it's not. It just says it's connected. So that tells me there's something wrong somewhere. I hope that the uh, um, <coughs> I hope that the um, Ethernet on board Ethernet hasn't failed. I mean, you know, you wouldn't expect that, but anything can happen. Okay, so let's make sure the cable didn't get... I haven't been doing anything around in that. Yeah, it's plugged in. I'm going to unplug it and look at it. It's one of those black cables. I you know, can't see it. Yeah, it's one of my black cables, so it's a... See, I didn't know that thing had a gigabit Ethernet. So it's... Uh, 
it's a, it's a Cat5 cable. That's the original first cables I ever bought. So I bought a bunch of black black ones. Now I've lost the spot where it goes. I was going by feel. Oh, there it is. Guess I should go ahead and just put another cable in there. It's so tied up and stuff. I can't even trace it down. I don't know what it's wrapped up in, but well, there's no sense in trying to get it out of the knot. I know it's in the knot. I'm gonna wrap some tape around it to keep from breaking the tab. That's usually my biggest problem is if I don't watch out, I'll break these tabs. Break so easy on these things. And then they won't lock in, and then they're useless. Until you, uh, unless you replace the, you know, replace the ends. <coughs> so uh, I still got to figure out where, what it's supposed to, where it's going. I can't believe it's in such a tight way. I can't. When I move it, it's pulling on this. Uh, it must be wrapped around this. Uh, yeah, that yellow one there that came with the modem, it might be a Cat 6. I might, I, I might have two Cat 6s. Get some more light so I can see what's going on down there. So, uh, yeah, it's... I don't know, maybe I've got it. Yeah, I've got it twisted to some other stuff to keep from losing it. I do that quite often. And that's what's my why it's making the modem go nuts. When I get when I touch it. I need to give myself a little more room back there. Just determined to knock that modem off of it. But it's it can it's a pain right now. But if I didn't have it twisted to something to keep it from falling down in the abyss of behind the desk, then uh, I would lose it so quickly. Can't tell what's what. What's tied to what? It seems that I have uh, three or four cables tied together. Oh yeah. Got the, I've got it tied in with the, uh, it's just down low enough I can't reach it. I guess I did it with the computer flipped up on its face. There. Everything is still in a horrible knot. didn't help in the least. Ugh. Well, I better quit pulling on this. I just saw it move this one here. It's going to end up... I could break another one when it's good. Now, unless I want to do a major cable overhaul, I guess it's staying in there. I mean, there's probably not anything wrong with that cable anyway. So, it's just... I mean, there could be. Now that I know what cable it was, what I was afraid of is I know I have at least, I'm pretty sure, I won't say I know, but I'm pretty sure I have at least one crossover cable in all my cables. And you can just tell by looking at them which one's the crossover cable. So um, I guess there's numbers on them that would tell you. But those things have gotten loose. As a matter of fact, one of them has been spent. That one, I don't know if you can see it in it. Yeah. It's been spinned around and around backwards enough times that it's loose, and I need to. I'll probably have to. Uh, see, I don't know. I might be able to tighten it up with some needle nose or something. Well, let's don't do that right now. That's what happens every time I see it. Uh, the nut that holds it into the case is loose. And that's not a good thing. 
Okay, so uh, down here, if that can be seen, where's my hand at? There, there's the back of my switch, or the front of it, I guess. I turned it around the other way so that I could get to the power to reboot it. But I don't believe it goes there, I believe it goes here. This is what I want to look at. The back of the. Uh, should be I've tried to label everything the last time when I hooked when I got my new switch I tried to label everything I had a lot of things labeled but not everything and that yellow one's obvious that one goes to the modem cable modem this is a cat 5e cable I think Lenovo i5, yeah, I, I, it's a long one, it doesn't need to be that long, but I put it on there because of what kind of cable it is. And, what does it say? Lenovo i5, D-Link, to rack. From D link to the rack? How'd I use that one? E machines. Well, the E machines did have a gigabit Ethernet. It's not there anymore. That label's wrong now. It would be mom's machine, I guess, now. Which it has gigabit too. Okay, blue FIC. What? Which one is it? It's got two labels on it. BFIC and IBM. I think it's the IBM. So that's the one that I was looking for. And then this other little bitty one goes to this. I think it goes to the, yeah, it goes to the switch. So, yeah, that black one is the one I was looking for. And I don't know why that is so. I'm almost certain it doesn't go to the... What? <laughs> pulled off the wrong one. Oh, that said IBM. Why did I say it? I have two labels on there and they both say IBM so why was I confused? I must have, the labels must have got, surely I didn't misread that that badly. I misread stuff but hmm. anyway that says IBM and that's what I want to replace for a minute and see cable has anything to do with it. But it's gonna it's in such a knot. I'm gonna plug it back in until I get some tape to protect that tab. This uh D Link I would like to have it in a different place. I'd like to have it up higher so that it can reach further in throughout the house and maybe into the garage better because I know that this monitor and stuff is probably blocking a lot of the signal but the cable is too short the power cable damn thing so too short to uh, go an inch higher than, uh, a half an inch higher than it is right now now I just made a mess out of that that's what I get for starting to get angry in case you didn't notice <laughs> Pissed off. Uh. Now I'm getting hot, so I went and opened the window. But um, if I have to. Uh, Scotch tape's not very strong, but it'll it'll do well enough just for that. And then it's uh, not actually very easy to get off, but uh, it can be. You know, you can get it off. And I can't believe that that stuff is such a knot. And now I've, I've routed and rerouted and rerouted without, <coughs> you know, pulling them out and straightening them up. Until now, that one there, it's been in there for years now. It's a, in a knot. <coughs> put it like that and see if it'll stay <coughs> now that little uh, blue cable pretty sure it's not 
this one here. I'm pretty sure it's an AutoCAD 5E, but let's just see if it, <coughs> it should be a good cable. So, <coughs> yeah, there's dust everywhere. <coughs> I'm going to be in a bad way when I get done messing with this. So, uh, And the other one is a black one, so I know, <coughs> know it's a <coughs> cat five. But, uh, yeah, as far as being a crossover cable, I'm almost certain this blue one's not a crossover cable. So, try it. Now, let's just, well, yeah, let's go one for <coughs> under the one. Actually, I think it might be. No, it'd be better to do them all the same. Up under my that that string that I'm fighting with is what's holding my uh, switch and my old uh, TP Link router in place, standing up on their end there. This one's going to be one of those ones that's really hard to get loose once you get it on there. Things really hard to squeeze. Is that the way it goes? Oh, I'm trying to put it in upside down anyway, so. I thought it was awful hard to get in there for some crazy, some unknown reason. That's because I had it upside down. Now, it's not a bad length for what I want to do with it. So, this time I'm going to try leaving that up there. I don't think I can because. I don't think I can reach the plug with that in the hood. That light is starting to blind me. Every time I look up, it's in the face. So now i got to reach down there and feel out where that goes. It's really a short run, so... Oops. Yeah, when I move the modem and made that one fall off. That's why that's not sitting there. Well, it's th that way that D-link is shaped, you really can't sit anything on top of it. Okay, let me look at the machine and see if it's going to try to hook up. <coughs> I've been thinking about another well, didn't do anything. I think I'll have to reboot to even begin to find out. Uh, usually, Fedora's real good about just automatically, you know, hooking back up. I'm afraid that the network, since it was, I don't know if I ever finished saying, it was getting 35 megabits. 30, it was getting 25 to 35 megabits down, but it was getting about 10 up, which is what I get. But that's way wrong. So I thought, could I, you know, could I have a crossover cable in there? But I didn't. Uh, so I'm wondering if that onboard network card is dying, or Fedora <coughs> didn't have the right driver for it. And then it was probably I have automatic updates on the server. You know, every night at three in the morning it checks for updates, and then installs them and reboots so maybe it installed a new kernel I'm almost certain it has recently installed a new kernel and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and reboot it I'm logged in as root in the mate desktop and uh, go ahead and reboot it and uh, we'll watch it boot up and see what we get <coughs> but uh, <coughs> see if we can see anything happening with the you know we'll, we'll watch the command line while it boots up <coughs> see if we can see anything happening with the network okay what do we got 427 4.20.7 I think the last time I looked at it was 4.20.6 so that that new kernel could have caused that and it could have been last night even 
because it's been according to my monitoring services it's been about maybe it said 24 hours now at first I wasn't paying attention to it because it always says that on my donsons.com even though it's not down I check over and over and over and it's hardly ever down when it says it is one of the services says it's down the other one doesn't actually but this time I noticed it was all of my websites were down so then I went and looked and the first thing I thought was like my IP address got changed you know because I get once in a while my IP address gets changed by my ISP and I thought maybe that's changed and I went into GoDaddy or that's my where I get my domains <clears throat> and looked in my forwarding and everything my DNS settings same IP so, so that wasn't good so then I turned on the cast decided to mess with the cable and I thought well I'll turn on the camera because I was planning on make, doing this and making a video of it okay it's already rebooted so uh, I'm going to have to go in the GUI to be able to uh, you know see if it's online the easiest way to do it just go ahead and log in as root again. Uh oh, I messed up. I may have messed up again. Maybe I got it. I got it. Now, I, I start, you have to type startx to get into the desktop, and you have to manually edit a config file to switch. If you, I have XFCE and MATE on here. That's the only way I could figure out how to do it in a Fedora 29 server. In Fedora 23, once I ran the install commands that I found on this website, so I'm going to use this time, it, uh, it just worked normally, you know. <clears throat> and you can switch. There's a graphic user login. And... Uh, but you have to log in in the command line and then type start x and it'll go whichever user you, you log in at with that's the user that you'll be in in the in the in the, in the uh, <coughs> let's get over here to the, there we go it hasn't finished loading so maybe we'll see together <coughs> nope network what the yeah, I've been thinking about. I've been I, before I even redid this. I thought maybe I should try set, go ahead and put Fedora 29 on that laptop that I have, because then I could run it as long as I need to in the house without it bothering me. And uh, I decided no, I want to go ahead and do that. That's a, I thought it was a sidetrack, and I thought I want to go ahead and do this machine. It's the one I want to use. I had, didn't think that I had any problems, you know, with it the hardware. Or anything. Well, I would say that you know it's a hardware problem or a driver problem. <coughs> uh, and I guess the quickest way to find that out is to go ahead and reboot it again. But this time I'm going to uh, use the previous kernel. <coughs> Because um, well, when I had trouble with the AS Rock, <coughs> not uh, the ne network card, I never could get the network, the gigabit Ethernet to work on the AS Rock motherboard. Ever since I went up to Fedora 27 on it. Okay, now I'm gonna just go ahead and do 420, 4.20.6 because last thing I remember. Wait a minute, 4. 5, 6, and 7. Oh, well, I think it was 4, 5, and 6 before. So I'm going to do .6 because it was working before. Now that, uh, it may be there's something in the kernel update that's uh, causing me trouble. Um, let's see. I did not sit here and watch. You can usually see when the, you can usually catch it when the network uh, connects. You know, if you're kind of watching, I was talking there. Not thinking about it. 
This time I'll try to watch a little better. It usually ends up being at the bottom of the screen too, but we'll see. I'll get a little bit. Now let's go to the bottom because that's where it usually is. It usually pauses just long enough for you to read it if you keep looking at the bottom of the screen. I'm trying to fail hardware monitoring sensors. That always happens. I don't think the machine has them. Host name service. Okay, I never did see anything about network. So, uh, <coughs> let's go ahead and do root again. I've always tried to keep a backup server in case <coughs> anything went wrong, and I don't have one right now. Well, I have one, but it's, it won't keep. It won't. The old Gateway 500 in the garage is my backup server, but it won't. It won't run a day or two without. Uh, I think the hardware is about wore out. <coughs> it starts locking up, and it just locks up mostly is what it does. Set there running, but you won't have any any. Uh, you know, it'd be a black screen, nothing. It's not actually running the operating system. And I don't even think it's on automatic updates either, so I don't think it's got anything to do with it. Well, it wouldn't really be much updates. It's running a really old version of the game. <coughs> okay, let's see if we can see the... Uh, it's it's uh, not connecting. Okay. Uh, try something else. Let's see if I don't know if I even have hardware lister or anything on here like that. But let's look and see. <coughs> if I don't have network, I can't install anything I don't have either. I do know there's some network commands to check your network adapter and stuff. But I don't know what they are and I don't think I have them over here on this machine. I'd be on my other machine. Let's see if I, if I do a search for hardware and stuff like that. I think hardware lister is actually HWL hardware lister or something. Well, here's the thing. <coughs> okay, network connection. Let's see. Yeah, here's. Uh, let's just get this kind of straight as I can. I'll put that over in front of it. Okay, now here it, it sees it has a network connection listed. Last time it was active was one day ago. And, uh, <clears throat> and so it's not like it's a dead device. Link negotiation, ignore, automatic. I don't know why that's an ignore. If manual is chosen, speed and duplex values will be forced without checking the device compatibility. If unsure, leave here ignore or pick automatic. Well, it's not working right now, so let's try. Let's see if that makes it connect. Let's see. I mean, I'm disabling and enabling networking. It didn't do anything. So. <coughs> Let's go ahead and move the camera back over here so we can try and see our network connections along with the activation, I mean, the, whether or not it's working or not. <coughs>
Okay, so all I did was change. <coughs> All users can use it. Ethernet, ESPN, MTU automatic. Oh, link negotiation automatic. It says 100 megabits. It does not see it as a gigabit. So, well, unless that's uh, that's the speed it's capable of. Use security. No, I don't need security on a wired connection. Data bridge. Well, <coughs> it's not one turn it set up right now, so. Sometimes Fedora, Fedora seems to always do that anymore, but it's not on this machine, but, I mean, it was working perfectly. Proxy, no. Uh, DHCP, that's right. Uh, automatic. And I didn't reboot the router again after changing that cable, but I shouldn't have to either. It, it should just, uh, I don't know, you never know for sure. Usually you can just right click on the network icon up there, disc you know, click on, disconnect it and then click it again to connect it and it should start trying to connect immediately, but it's not. <coughs> uh, so I guess the best thing I can really do is reboot that <coughs> D-Link again. I hate to do that because I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one on the internet right now. Let me move this out of the way. There's a switch on the back of it. So when it gets booted back up, and I will go ahead and do the, after it does, I'll do the switch, but I mean the network switch. But it's not connected to the network switch, but I haven't done it in a while. But I'll, so I'll do it while I'm thinking about it, but not, not as if I can remember. <coughs> I'm not going to do it right, it wouldn't do any good to do it right now. It would mess things up for it or anybody that was on it <coughs> while it's uh, didn't do a thing <coughs> I haven't even bothered to open up the web browser to check because it would, there's no reason you know it's not, uh, not getting a connection I'm disabling that working and enabling that working again <coughs> uh, as far as I and I got to thinking what if because, you know, I haven't, until recently, I didn't have, yeah, that, no, that wouldn't hurt a thing. I was started thinking the other day, well, what if I have to have a cap, at least a cat 5 e cable for it to work for, uh, for it? Well, I, I thought that could be why it was getting a really slow speed, because it was like, uh, because the pinouts are different on them, you know, but um, I, then I got to thinking, no, I think the only cables that, that cross the wires, actually, you know, it's not really the pinouts exactly. Uh, is crossover cables, and I'm not using that. I don't have a crossover cable on there, <coughs> unless it's blue with us, but, uh, but I don't think so. It has the same condition we had before I plugged it in. So, and I remember using that blue one, <coughs> you know, not long ago. Um, and there's always, you know, like some sort of stress or strain on a cable, especially as tight as those things were. The, that let's say that black cable could have pulled them the wire loose you know sometimes they can I do know they can still work with one wire broken you know but not work right <coughs> so um, anyway I've used cat5 cables on uh, you know machines with gigabit routers gigabit onboard Ethernet and all they did was just not go you know uh, you didn't really notice anything before because I only had 60 megabit. The only te speed test I could do was my is internet speed test, and I only had 60 megabit Ethernet, so it didn't ever matter until the last, you know, about a few months ago, whenever we got 200 gigabits down and 10 up. So now you can tell, you know, when you swap cables on one with a gigabit Ethernet, you can tell when you put the right cable on there because then you get your full 200 megabits down. <coughs> and of course, you don't know. I don't have any way to test them. 
sure I could. The only thing I know you could do is set up like a, you know, a network tester on your server or something. And I know you can do that, I've, but it's, it'll be a lot of work. So I don't have any way to test my network speed within my own network. <clears throat> there might be some tools for Windows, but I don't have any Windows machines. I'm sure there's, uh, well, the, from what I understand, you just really have to set up a server, to, a speed test server. Which I could probably just add that to my server. I've been thinking about doing, but I haven't got to that. You know, but now I got a real problem, and I guess I never. I don't know if I ever finished the sentence I started. I said I might. I've been thinking about that laptop. I've been thinking about it lately. I actually started thinking about um, setting it up as the server and changing and let it be the server and leave it in here instead of putting it out in the garage like I was thinking about doing and let the Net Pro Max, turn the Net Pro Max into a network server when I realized it had a gigabit ethernet. But now that it's not working, let's go ahead and reboot it to the oldest kernel we got before I do anything else. Because rebooting that, uh, that router over and over is not going to help me. So, um, I'm going to restart. <clears throat> and I'll get the oldest kernel this time. <clears throat> if that doesn't help, then uh, I'm going to figure it's not anything to do with the software on the, you know, updates or anything. And I'm going to have to start figuring it's hardware. And so then I've got to, um, I can't install anything without an Ethernet connection. I do not have any type of USB Ethernet adapter or anything like that. The only thing I could do is pull that machine out of there and uh, put it on the uh, 4.20.5 kernel and uh, put a 100, get 100 megabit um, Ethernet adapter in one of those PCI slots. I guess I, I guess I was sitting there thinking, well, if I've got to do all that, I might as well just put Fedora 29 on my laptop and let it be the server like I was thinking about doing. I, actually, either one would probably take the same amount of time, I guess. Uh, I don't feel very good still. Um, I really don't want to dig that box out of there. It's a thing. So I may do that. I may have to, may do that. I have an SD card, I, the laptop doesn't have a, a hard drive and it's got a broken monitor but that doesn't matter I mean a broken broken display screen uh, that's why it's just uh, under the bed in a plastic bag waiting for me to find something to do with it it only has, it's got you know Wi-Fi but I wouldn't use that uh, it's only 56 megabits but it has 100 megabit onboard Ethernet that would be a fine for a server a web server, you don't, I don't want it to be just, you don't want anybody, uh, all I have is 10 gigabit up anyways, but I don't want them using too much of my bandwidth anyway. Oops. Hit the wrong key.
no network. I'll wait for a minute and make sure it's not uh, going to try to connect. <coughs> so yeah, before I go uh, doing try to do any hardware checking or anything, then uh, I'm going to disable it and re-enable it just to make sure it doesn't need help. <coughs> Get back in the newest kernel then because this is not helping. Yeah, I just grabbed the. I don't have my, you know, OBS Studio running, any wireless, my mics or anything. I just grabbed the uh, camera one and restarting again. Grabbed the camera one and started. You know, just making a video. But, uh, well, at least I can get, it's a bad angle, but uh, quite angled, but at least I can get the cameras. I've got the camera sitting on my my keyboard and my keyboard tray, the, the tripod. <laughs> and so I can at least have it close enough to where you can almost, you know, you can kind of see what's going on better than whenever I use the camera behind me. <laughs> but, uh, this time I won't touch the, anything, I'll let it boot up nat normally. Fedora boots up, reboots pretty quickly now. Uh, when it's all working good, you know, without a bunch of errors. My Fedora 28 system driving me crazy because I got these things that hang up on boot that don't work and then it finally gets by them. And I think it gives up is what it does. But. So, uh, already at switch root was uh, at the bottom of the screen where you can't see uh, um, which is pretty close to getting getting to where it would uh, you know get a graphic screen I can't see anything about the networking usually when the networking uh, when there's it sees that there's something wrong with the networking it stops and this is what confuses me whenever it can't connect to the network they usually stop and uh, keep trying the only thing there that's failing is uh, hardware monitors, and that's been a way ever since I set it up, and I believe that's because it's uh, network something. Target network, starting network manager. That all seems to be working properly. So there couldn't be anything wrong with the, the Ethernet. I if it was broken, it would see that, and it would say, error, can't find the network. Understand it at all. At least that's what I thought. <laughs> Always thought. Okay, let's. bring the uh, camera back up to the top. Can't show the whole screen where I'm sitting. I, I, I'd have to bring it back a lot further and I won't have anything to set it on. So, Well, I guess I could put it off to the side. <coughs> also, I, well, I'd have to... I got it plugged in so that the battery won't go down on the phone while I'm making the video. <coughs> Two. But I could do that. I could put it over to the right via the crooked, but at least I think I better do that because... You won't be able to read it, but I can't really do, I can't type like this hardly at all. That means I've got to move <coughs> drinks, which I hate having to do. Just remember one thing. I guess I do. No, I don't have a backup server because what I do have one more machine that has a server on it, and that's the Fedora 14 system. But the fan went bad in it, and I haven't touched that since <coughs> that happened. 
so no I don't I, I don't <laughs> good <coughs> see if I can get this aimed at the screen well, that's hard to see where it's aimed I think I've got it actually but cable is not good though about the cable when I set it down there. Yeah, it's a really severe angle, but but you can see almost all of the screen. If I back up a little more, you probably will be able to see all of the screen. Remember, it's been a while since I did it this way, so I can't remember. Probably made it at a worse angle. But and now you can see the whole screen almost. That'll be good enough. Let's see, what's that? Yeah, that's the. Uh, oh, I see. <coughs> that's really not very good, is it? Like that it was better. Dang it. Everything is going haywire on me. <coughs> That's actually better, isn't it? It's less of that. It's a real bad angle, but it's the best I think I can get it there. Um. <coughs> okay, now. <coughs> The monitor was crooked for me moving things around. <coughs> Are we still recording? If not recording, that would be bad. No, we're still recording. Okay, as long as it's plugged in. Well, it'll record until the video gets too big, and then it should start another one automatically. And it gets to be about three gigabytes. Which is about an hour, or an hour and a half. <coughs> this has got me puzzled. Uh, let's see, I'm going to search for hardware. Hmm. HW Lister, I think, is. I do HW, I come up with a lot of things that aren't any really related. <coughs> Let's see. Um, commands. I still don't even have Crusader installed on here, it doesn't look like. <coughs> I do have a documents folder made in here. <coughs> 